Good afternoon, I'm George and this is my short presentation on um, my PhD project of smart filtration of aerosols and ventilation systems. My PhD supervisor is Professor Yanis Hadalupas at Imperial College London. So quickly just to talk about turbulence. Uh, turbulence is a fluid phenomenon that occurs at high Reynolds numbers and is characterized by having chaotic motion of vortices or eddies at many different length, length scales. And this has the effect of accelerating diffusion of passive scalars in the flow. So having a look at this uh, simulation here, we start off with a very high concentration in the middle and at the corners, and then I'll let this play out and you can start seeing that being diffused around. So this fluid simulation in a bit more detail, uh, we've got a root mean square velocity of 22.1 centimeters per second, a length of 14.1 centimeters and the particle size is one micron. So even now you can see we started off with quite a high concentration in the middle, but now this is pretty evenly diffused. As we increase the particle size though, they no longer behave as just passive scalars in the flow and diffuse around. Um, their inertia, because of the larger size, um, causes a very different phenomena known as preferential concentration. So this is where we have very large voids in the flow um, of no particles and uh, some small areas of very high concentration in the flow. So now this is pretty evenly diffused in here. Note the scale here goes from 0 0.5 to 3. The next simulation goes from 0 to 6. Again, we start off with the high concentration in the middle. So this simulation is exactly the same as the previous one, but now we've increased the size of the particles to 20 microns. So we can already see the voids here have gone down to a zero concentration of particles. And um, these voids uh, typically are centered on the large uh, vortices in the fluid simulation. So uh, I'll also let this play out so you can see the areas of high concentration, like here and here, for example. So what are some of the consequences of preferential concentration? Um, and why am I basically studying it as part of my PhD? And um, yeah, so. Uh, Lots of properties, such as the collision rate of um, aerosols, actually scale with the concentration squared. So if we increase the concentration by 10, we actually increase the collision rate by a factor of 100. And obviously collisions uh, affect the particle size distribution. So what I'm going to be looking at in my PhD is how we can manipulate preferential concentration and use it in order to manipulate particle size distributions, ultimately trying to form large particles that are easier to filter out. Thank you for listening.